All right, hello and grand evening to all. Once again, good evening to everyone. Lakeisha McKnight is here. We should be live. It's about 8.01 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I am your senior coach and your host for the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. Again, this is the Revitalize the Total Woman podcast. This is a podcast hosted uh, by a nonprofit organization entitled Women of Elevation Career Services International. All right, so we are about to get started with this podcast episode, but before we do that, uh, what I am going to do is I am going to start a watch party in the community group uh, as we provide a lot of great content and information there in the group connected uh, to this particular podcast and nonprofit. So I'm going to go ahead and start the watch party. Just bear with me a little bit. Uh, and then I'm going to get into some of the background information regarding uh, the podcast, the org, and also dive into the main content. We shouldn't be here no longer than about 10, 15 minutes tonight. So just giving you a little heads up that this podcast show, we don't provide long episodes. We like to be straight to the point uh, with our content. All right. So going ahead and starting up this particular watch party. And it sounds like it's pretty good. Sounds like it's pretty good. So let's go ahead and greet the members of this group. Good evening, W-O-E. Now, you may hear me reference W-O-E for short for Women of Elevation. And remember, this nonprofit organization, uh, it's, again, a 501c3 based out of Chesapeake, Virginia, but it also has a location in Nigeria, Africa. And the whole purpose and mission of this nonprofit org and thus the podcast is really to empower women with the tools to be able to create, relate, and elevate so you can walk in your God-given purpose and carry out and live your dream lifestyle. That is what the podcast and, of course, the nonprofit is truly set out to accomplish. And so, again, welcome aboard. This podcast goes live every Tuesday and Wednesday around 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So for those of you out there, if you have a desire to want to really enhance yourself as far as your career path is concerned and really connect with some like-minded women, we encourage you to plug in and connect with the community group for this nonprofit org. And so the way that you can join the group because it is a free group at the present moment, you can definitely visit this website. It's www.woecommunity.com. Again, that's woecommunity.com. That's how you can join the Community for Women of Elevation right here on the Facebook platform. Now, we'll let you know that not only are we live on Facebook, but we're live on iHeartRadio. Spreaker, as well as on the Women of Elevations website. So our topic matter really has a lot to do with the theme for the first four months of the year. The theme is create, right? And you see the preview image. You know, for those of you ladies out there, we're going to help you create a stellar personal brand that's going to help you to attract promotions, especially for those of you who may be in the corporate arena. Now, for those of you who are entrepreneurs, we're going to help you to create product services as well as host your own events if that's something of interest for you. So that is what our focus is for the first four months of this year. And so really to lay the foundation for you, uh, we talked about goals and dreams a bit on last week. But this week, the focus is really upon helping you to take it one step further, and that is creating a vision for yourself. Some people like to call it a vision statement. And so I'm going to talk to you a little bit about what a vision statement is and why you would want to create one. And I might give you an example of a good vision statement or two. So hopefully this will help you out. For those of you who you might have a vision statement, you're trying to figure out if you need to edit your vision statement. Hopefully this can help you in that regard. So here is what a vision statement is. A vision statement is really a document that states the current and future objectives of an organization. Okay. A vision statement is a document that states the current and future objectives of an organization. It's really intended as a guide to help the organization make decisions that align with its philosophy and really declared set of goals. It can also be thought of as a roadmap 
to where the company wants to be within a certain time frame as well. Okay. So not only really our vision statements for business, right? But it also can be for your personal life as well. So I don't want you to just restrict vision statement writing to business endeavors, but you can think about that in terms of your personal life. Okay. So what really is the purpose of a vision statement? A vision statement isn't like a pie in the sky document that collects like fantasies. Okay. It's really a living document that is referred to as really like a, a guide to lead the company into its next innovation, whatever that innovation would be. Okay. So let me give you what really goes into a vision statement. Here's what goes into a vision statement. You really need to be concise, right? Number one, you have to be clear as to what it is that you're trying to say. You have to have a time horizon. What's that time frame that you're looking at? The next, next 10 years or the next 20 years, whatever it may be for you. You want to make it future oriented. Okay. Make it future oriented. Okay. Be challenging in the statement. You don't want it to be something that you can easily attain. Right. So make sure that it's challenging and also be as be inspiring with your statement. Okay. Be inspiring. Okay. Now I'm going to give you a couple of good examples of what vision statements would actually look like. There are a couple of companies out there that have amazing vision statements. And so here's one. You all are probably familiar with this company. It's called Ikea, right? That, that grand store out there. Many of you probably been to one of them or, or two. Okay. Here is the vision statement for Ikea. They say, our vision is to create a better everyday life for many people. That's it. Okay. It's aspirational. It's short and to the point. Let me repeat it one more time. Our vision is to create a better everyday life for many people. You see, it sets the tone for the company and it makes it clear that they're in the market to offer low priced, good furnishings, right? That suits everyone's lifestyle. So that's Ikea. Now, you know, I have to go to this next one because everyone is familiar with this brand and that is Nike. Okay, let's talk about Nike for a moment. Here is the vision statement for Nike. Nike's vision statement says this, bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. That's it. Okay. And of course, if you have a body, you really are an athlete because you're moving about. Okay. We're not just talking about basketball players and, you know, professionals in the industry of sports. So again, here is their vision statement for Nike. Bring inspiration and innovation to every athlete in the world. In case you understand something, nobody cared much for sneakers in the past. They were just another really piece of sports equipment. That's really what it was. But Nike saw a future that had not yet existed, they, in which they delivered products that inspired and motivated people. Okay, so it's, it's, just, it's just great. Now, here is one last one. I know many of you know this company, right? Here it goes. The big, the double, the, the arches, okay? The golden arches. McDonald's. That's right. You heard it. <laughs> All right? McDonald's. Here is the vision statement for McDonald's. To be the best quick service restaurant experience. To, this is being the best means providing outstanding quality, service, cleanliness. Now, of course, I got a double take on that because some of them aren't that clean. And value so that we make every customer and every restaurant smile. Okay? So that's what they say. It's a little bit longer, their vision statement. But they want, that first part is so true. To be the best quick service restaurant experience. They want to create an experience, not just you coming in and just, you know, getting your food and zipping out of there. You see, the power of this vision is that it's constructed like a checklist. The word best is the word that requires definition, right? And McDonald's provides it with qualifiers, making the, like the roadmap to success clearly marked with like signposts almost. So those are just three examples of vision statements. And I want to encourage you, even as you're going forward throughout the rest of this week and the weekend, think about the vision statement you have for your business. And then, of course, overall for your life 
and begin to construct a statement. Now we're going to put more and more examples of vision statements inside of the community group. So make sure that you're plugged into the community group. I know I didn't do a watch party at, or did I? I think I am live and doing a watch party inside of the group. Yes, I am. So for those of you inside of the group, please note that we are going to post examples of vision statements. That way you can be able to take a look and be able to crystallize yours as well. So stay tuned and stay posted and continue to visit the Women of Elevation group. Now, if you're not plugged into that group, here's a reminder of how to get plugged into that group one more time. So you simply want to go to this website and put it in your browser, www.woecommunity.com. And it's going to take you right to the group. You simply request to join and you'll be well on your way. So we're going to give you great content that's going to help you to crystallize a few things as we're still in this first month of 2020. So thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. As I share, we're only going to be here for about 15 minutes, and we are doing well with that time. So we appreciate your time. We're going to be back next week. You don't want to miss next week because here's the deal. We're going to dive into mission statements next week. So don't miss a beat, okay? Learn more about Women of Elevation by visiting our website at www.womenofelevation.com. Take care, everyone, and God bless.